Hello YouTube, welcome to Curious Me channel. This is Shabazz Khan and in this video we'll be talking about stored procedures. I mean how to create stored procedures, modify them and alter them or delete them. So before going to that, let us discuss what are stored procedures, okay? So what is a stored procedure? Well simply put, a stored procedure is a set of SQL statements which we write and save in the SQL server itself. And while saving that stored procedure, we assign it a name so that we can use that name to call this procedure again and again okay so not only that using that name any program can access that stored procedure and make changes to the database so let us understand that practically so this is the table that i'm using the name of the table is user role it has three columns id name and role id is an auto incremented column with a difference of one so this is the very sim this is a very simple statement select all from user role so this is the data inside the role so what i want to do is i want to create a procedure which will call this line okay so how can i do that is by cre writing create sorry writing create procedure and then the name of your procedure that you want to create let us name it my procedure all right then as begin and then the code you want to write i want to execute this line and then end that's it once you are done just select all of this and then press execute so this will execute and create a procedure named my procedure now you can use this procedure to run this line how many times you want for example execute the name of my procedure is my procedure itself so go ahead and execute it see what it did it executed this line of code okay so this was how you can create a procedure all right but in a procedure you can do many things you can do you can do con conditional statements you can do loops all those things so let us you know uh, create our procedure to take in some input and give output accordingly okay so let's go ahead and do that so this is the stored procedure which I have already created now I want to modify it so how can I modify the stored procedure is by removing this create with alter simple as that see alt procedure my procedure then what I want to do is I want to pass a parameter so how can we I expect a parameter is by declaring uh, my variable so how what variable will I declare is up to me so I can declare ID okay so what is ID what type of variable will be ID so I want to say I want an integer type okay simple as that now inside this begin and end statement I can use this ID so how can I use this ID is like this if ID is not equal to okay what I what I'm saying here is if ID is not equal to how I can say if ID is greater than zero okay I want to say that select all from a user role where id the name of the column id is equals to the id that i have passed all right okay now if not if not if id is not greater than zero then what i want to do is i want to select everything and pass so what i'll do is i'll just copy this or cut it And then place it in here all right so basically this code says that if I have passed an ID okay which is greater than zero then select that ID from the table and give the output but if that ID is not greater than zero that means select everything from the table and then give the output all right so uh, let us run this from here 
so here now this will alter my procedure okay so execute now my existing store procedure is modified so what will happen when well, I will execute this line it will throw an error why because see it says that procedure or function my procedure expects parameter ID which was not supplied so we need to pass in a parameter so let's pass a parameter simply put a space here and then you can pass your parameter for example I'll pass a parameter of 2 okay now let's go ahead and execute this line see I got the input of I got the row which has the ID 2 now what will happen if I pass in minus 1 so it should return everything similarly if I'll write 0 it will also return everything because it is 0 is equal to 0 okay but what will happen if I pass 1 it will return a row which has a value ID of value 1 okay so this is it so this is how you can modify your procedure using alter okay and this is a basic example of how you can pass in a parameter you can pass two parameters if you want see suppose you want you can pass uh, I want to pass name okay I want to pass name and where care and that will be of hundred whatever I mean it's, it totally depends upon you what size of you want if ID is greater than zero I'm saying if ID is greater than zero and name is not equals to empty character all right so this is simple where id equals to this and name name equals to add the rate name okay so now i have two parameters again i'll modify this it ha it will modify this now i have passed in one so what is the name of one i'll have to check it because I forgot what was the name so, okay it expects two parameters so let us pass in another parameter mr. X or something I don't know if the name is mr. X let's run it yes the name was mr. X so this is it guys uh, that's how you make okay that's how you make a modify stored procedures and you can store it stored this piece of code in the database so where it is stored uh, let me just show you where it is stored so it is stored see this is my database and the table is user role so in here if we go to programmability there is a stored procedure and you will see my stored procedure my procedure all right so there it is stored and you can use that stored procedure again and again and you can also access this stored procedure I mean you can run this stored procedure from your server side codes also so what it does is it reduces the I mean it increases the reusability of your code okay so this is it guys the, I hope you understand okay one more thing sorry uh, one more thing is how can you drop a procedure all right so to drop a procedure you just write drop procedure and the name of your procedure my procedure all right and then what it will do is okay sorry it will just drop this procedure command completed successfully now if I try to execute my procedure mr. Riggs it will throw an error it will say that could not find stored procedure my procedure okay so that's how you create modify and drop and execute your stored procedure with parameters and all those things okay so thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day ahead